Have you ever wondered if witches or wizards also had slingshots? Well, they do, but of course, it functions differently than normal slingshots because it's magic. In this video, we'll look at one of the newest cards that got added into our spellbook, the Wing Catapult. Based on the description, it summons a Wing Catapult that attacks five times in the direction of its summoner, at the cost of its own health. Deals damage to the first opponent it hits, if any wind catapults attacks hit a target, all subsequent attacks will lock on to the hit unit. If the wind catapult hits an opponent, it restores one movement card. So the wind catapult is a summit. You drop it on the ground, and it then begins to attack in a straight line in the direction you're in. So it does require some practice to aim properly, especially if your opponent is at the back. Once it hits an enemy though, it'll keep hitting that opponent even if you move away. Each attack hits five times. It can only hit one target at a time. And each time it attacks, it will lose hit points. And it will keep attacking every four seconds until it loses all its HP. Anytime it hits an enemy, you get one movement path. Now in terms of echoes, this works well with echoes that move a lot, like the Dobby deck. It also works well with the Snape deck since you're mostly standing in the middle, which makes it easier to aim. It also provides additional damage to a Snape deck's attack. You can also use it with the Neville and Hagrid Echoes to keep the catapult up for longer. And if ever we get it on global, this also works well with the Sirius Black Echo. Obviously, since it's a summon, cards like Swelling Solution, Essence of Dittany, and Episki help the Wing Catapult. But another card that really works well with this Echo is the Accio card. The Accio card pulls your opponents even from far away, so it makes it easier to hit. Other control cards like Inflatus and Incarceration should also work. Now, if you're using the Dobby Echo, you can essentially treat this card like a cheaper version of Avada Kedavra. Compared to Avada, it's easier to aim when you're operating with the Dobby Echo because it'll always be in a straight line between you and the catapult. You don't really need to worry about where you're facing. And if you're using the Snape Echo, it'll be very likely that you're standing close to the opponent that you want to hit. So there's a good chance that the Wing Catapult will hit your target as well. Now, if you're using the Neville Echo, or this is your highest MP summon in the Hagrid deck, try and summon multiple of these and it'll act as a good defense for attacking summits. It can be hard to get used to aiming the Wing Catapult, but since this card is usually in your backline, it's also harder for your opponents to kill it. They'll have to directly target it with spells, which also means less spells directly targeting you. Aiming will take quite a bit of practice, since you want to be able to hit your target by just moving once, so that you gain that movement back when it hits. But once you master that, this card can be a great source of consistent single target damage. So will you be using the Wing Catapult in your deck? And until next time, fellow mages, 